I love old things <laughs> that I've had for years that get to see the light again. One of the things that limits us the most in our closet is when we categorize our clothes so much that we can't really see beyond our original intended use for them. And while there are some clothes like technical gear for working out that require a really focused purpose, I find that our wardrobe's versatility is really a function of how creative and open-minded we are when it comes to our styling. So today I've got four sort of basic outfits for you that I'm gonna restyle for work weekend and evening. And granted, everybody's dress code at work looks different. I'm sort of envisioning if I worked in an office at some sort of creative industry like agency or publication or something like that where the wardrobe would be pretty lax but you still wanna feel professional and put together. So that's kind of my workplace dress code, if you will. But hopefully these ideas just give you a good jumping off point to restyling what you've already got or to discover any true gaps in your closet. I'll be doing this today with help from today Today's video sponsor, Cezanne, whose current Italy-inspired collection is giving me life, of course especially since I'm not there right now. Cezanne is a really great French brand. What I like best about them is their commitment to quality and lasting garments. The hand feel of their garments is really nice and weighty. The fit is really comfortable and the construction is always beautifully finished. I also appreciate their commitment to their aesthetic and not just trying to jump on board whatever is currently trending. For me, an essential part of slow fashion is having a strong point of view and then sticking to it. I've chosen a few new pieces, three of them to be exact, and they are mostly like, you know, in keeping with my own style, a little bit more minimal and classic. I really do love the vibrant colors in their current collection, and I think that's still going to inspire some of my looks today. So I've got a few gifted pieces for today's collaboration that you'll see, a bunch of old Cezanne items from previous collaborations, and of course, clothes from the rest of my closet mixed in. Everything from Cezanne that is current, which all of it still is because they have a really good core collection. All of it will be linked in the description box below. As with all my sponsored content, I really hope that today's video resonates with you or helps you discover a brand that aligns with your aesthetic and your values. Let's jump on it. Outfit number one is trousers and a fitted top. I think the fitted top could be a blouse, could be just like a t-shirt. I tried to make it so general. I've got just just an interesting sort of stripe and texture. I've got a solid pump, but I think in the workplace you could get away with a pointed flat here or a really cute loafer or an Oxford. These are the Damon trouser from Cezanne. I've had them for about a year now. Oh, also I want to show you this new bracelet that I got. This is also from Cezanne. Really interesting. I've never tried their jewelry before, but I really liked this. I like how thick it is, but how thin it comes across here so that if you are, you know, typing away at a keyboard, it's not like banging around so much, so that's kind of fun. Okay, let's take this to weekend. Depending on how fancy you like to get during the weekend or like your daytime weekend activities, like what if you're going to, I don't know, like a, a matinee show or like a fancy brunch, then I would just do this. I would just swap out the jacket immediately for something that either has a slouchier, boxier, or more relaxed silhouette, which is what we've got here with the denim, or something with a bit of a rough texture. If you're doing something that isn't so fancy, haven't seen these bad boys in a while, have we? Oh my gosh. But I'm really feeling the like classic tailored vibe for this look. I don't know why. Maybe it's the stripes that are doing it. Evening. Something like off the shoulder that feels a little bit sensual, you know, shows a little bit more skin in a really, I find, modest way. This can really sort of dress up and change the vibe of your trouser. I personally like that we're keeping with the fitted silhouette and we're not like playing around too much with silhouette here. What we are doing though is just increasing the ratio of skin to coverage. So we've done that here up on the shoulders and also in the footwear. I think we so underestimate either an open toe or a sandal when swapping out footwear. Next up, jeans and a blouse. 
probably one of the simplest combinations since the beginning of time. However, these are no ordinary jeans. These are the Merino, actually like a trouser from Cezanne, but that's what I like about them is that they really walk that fine line between trouser and denim. So when you do need them to be extra versatile, they do a lot of the work for you. I think this on its own for the workplace is fantastic. If you're in a pinch of some sort, you know, you can throw on a blazer. And I would say, even though you're wearing denim, you're pretty presentable for a client meeting. You know, you've got a nice closed toe pump, feels really polished. And again, with these trousers or with these jeans, I would still stick with like a pointy or some sort of structured footwear. Because you've got so much volume on the leg, I really like that point. I love what that does here, especially in the workplace. And then what I really like, especially about this blouse, this is the Chloe, also from Cezanne. I've had this one for almost about a year now, but I like this particularly for workplace environments as well, because it's got a little bit of detail, but it's not over the top. It won't compete if you have to throw on a blazer or, you know, it's a nice little bit of tension if you're wearing it with like a really structured trouser or a suit. So I really like this blouse. I think it's another one of those pieces that can kind of walk easily between two or three different worlds. Easy peasy styling. I also want to show you this for jeans and a blouse for work. We've got a really nice sort of monochrome play happening here with the navy and the navy and the little frill of the blouse coming out. This almost feels a little bit like blazer situation, but a little bit more fun. So we're getting the elements of suiting because we've got the monochrome colors and a really nice coordinated effect. It's not so involved or stuffy or fussy as a suit. And I want to try one thing with this. Hang on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's so cute. I put the cardigan on backwards. So now it reads like a little sweater. So I buttoned up the collar, except for the last little top one. I kind of like it standing up a little bit floppy. Like this is just so interesting. And all we've done is put a cardigan on over a blouse. Like it's not rocket science. This is amazing. And I should mention, this is the Gaspar cardigan, but with a navy and a crew stripe, which I absolutely love. I wanted like a little marinière, but I figured getting it in a cardigan would again make it a little bit more versatile so that I can do stuff like this with it. Weekend. Pretty simple. A blouse is a blouse. We can really pigeonhole it into a certain category in our closets. Like it's fancy, it's dressy. So as soon as I want to bring some versatility to a piece like that, I want to take something that is from the exact opposite end of the spectrum. So I've taken a light wash denim because light comes across as like a, even more casual than a regular denim. I've done like a really messy cuff at the bottom. I really want to dress this blouse down and make it feel easy and chill for like a casual weekend. I've got the flats on again, but I could do a sneaker. Let me show you what that looks like. The ultimate sort of bag, if you want something that feels really chill and easy, is just a little cloth tote for evening. I know that this isn't exactly groundbreaking. It's not an entirely different outfit from our weekend look, but that's also entirely the point. If we don't have time to change. If we want our closet to work for us, we have to be okay with outfit repeating and making these small subtle tweaks and being okay with that. Easy, simple clutch. And again, no belt because I kind of like how there isn't anything that is really pulling focus here. The whole look feels soft and easy. So here we go. Outfit number three is a skirt and a knit. Here's what I've done for work. I've done another little backwards with the guest box cardigan. It's so nice to wear a cardigan a little bit out of the box. I think a lot of us when we buy a cardigan or we add one to our closets, especially in the context of work, we think, oh, this is going to be my like leave on the back of the chair and throw on when the air conditioning gets too cold cardigan or whatever. And then it always ends up being an afterthought in that way. But if we start to look at cardigans just as general knitwear, something that has the properties of a fuzzy texture, a soft silhouette that offsets something that is sleek and shiny really well, then maybe we start to see it in a bit of a different context. And I've paired it with this old slip skirt. So this is how I would wear a skirt and a knit for work. Weekend, same cardigan, same skirt. 
All I've done is changed the way the cardigan is styled. It's now on frontwards. I have unbuttoned the top buttons, unbuttoned the bottom buttons so that we get like a really sort of interesting undone look. All I did was take a little elastic. I kind of twisted, almost like a French twist, twisted the back of the cardigan and I've just tucked it into the back of the skirt to kind of bring in the weekend, more sporty. I imagine we're gonna be like wandering around in this look. I've got my sneaker and here we are, ready for weekend. Okay, evening, skirt and a knit. I did a little wrap with the cardigan, used the wrap belt again to kind of keep everything in place. And of course, total disclaimer, I know I am wearing the wrong bra for this. I would definitely wear a nude strapless bra and I would probably even secure it with a little bit of tape, maybe just over here. Okay, final outfit formula. I think this final one, I'm just gonna say mixed colors because I think we really do start to embrace color in the spring after winter. I've got these a crew crop jeans. I personally love this for my lifestyle. I think they're such a wonderful sort of substitute to your regular blue jean and really pass beautifully on those dress down days. Or as I mentioned, if you're in a creative office, then these are just like a really, really good everyday pant. They've got a nice high waist. They've done it with like a little something interesting, a blue stripe paired with the beautiful, this is the berry cardigan. I've had this for almost a year now from Cezanne. The deep V is really cool because it shows showcases the fact that it's a button down. Again, it's like being deliberate, right? With our layers. And then I've kept everything else neutral. I love to add polish with a belt. So I've done that here. We also get a little bit of texture and the coolest, these are vintage, got like a whole big jungle of pastels down there. The weekend. Here is where you can have a lot of fun with scarves. I'm already doing some pretty cool sneaky color blocking with the baby blue flat paired with this really beautiful cardigan. And I've got two scarves here which could take this look in completely different directions. A little something like this. Just do like neckerchief style. I think this is so cute and because it's sort of just styled in this really nonchalant way, it does lean into that sort of weekend relaxed sense. So here we go. Here's this. This scarf is a little bit bigger. It's also got an interesting pop of red. I would turn it into like more of a lengthwise kind of tube here. Actually, I think I'm even gonna do it like this there. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. I just, I really wanted to see a little bit of the red. See, it's a little bit of a softer contrast. Still weekend appropriate. Play with your scarves this season, especially if you've got beautiful V necklines that come with these cardigans. Evening in color. This is like really interesting. This is a little bit of a risk for me. It's super comfortable. You're nice and cozy because you've got the cardigan in case of a chill. All I've done is taken the berry cardigan, thrown it on backwards and layered it over this vintage maxi dress that I have in baby blue. So we're getting again that really interesting analogous color play but it still feels chill because I've got a flat on and I've created a little bit of definition in this look via the belt so uh, there we go so that is what I have for you today thank you so much for watching and for being here it always means so much merci beaucoup Cézanne pour être la commanditaire pour ce vidéo c'est toujours un plaisir de travailler avec vous give this video a thumbs up if you liked it hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will be back with another slow fashion video Thank you again for watching. Ciao!